Yeah, everything that you see here is because of fungus. When early life was evolving, fungus came out of the water and it transformed the rock into soil, which made life possible or plant life possible. And eventually, you know, uh, mammals came about, but it's all because of fungus. It all stems from the fungi. It always feels impossible before you find the first one. It generally doesn't seem like there's any mushrooms out here, but trust me, there are. Well, I initially got into mushrooms after my knee surgery and I was just kind of sitting in my house, not exercising, eating terribly, and it was really emphasizing my dep depression and anxiety to a point where I couldn't live a normal day-to-day -day life. And I was just looking for answers, scouring the internet, and I was researching psychotherapy and neuroscience, and those two specific fields brought me to psychedelic mushrooms and the benefits they've been having and all these breakthroughs through therapeutic use. So I read about that for months and like honestly read everything I could find, got books, watched videos online, and it brought me to a place where I felt comfortable having my own high dose mushroom ceremonies. And started, I did that every couple of months and that really had a huge effect on my psyche. While I was just sitting there, it didn't, I didn't feel completely worthless anymore. And I continued to research and that brought me to microdosing, which seemed to have a, a more beneficial effect on your day-to-day -day life. And that really had a huge effect on me. And I continued to use that um, while I got back on my board and the effects that it's had positively on my skating have been amazing. Like, they're, like before when I was trying a scary trick, I'd have this anxiety and fear over me and I'd kind of just be in like a, be stuck in like a mindless loop um, not really doing, not really living through the trick. But when I'm on a low dose of magic mushrooms, I feel like I'm actually like riding it like a ride. I'm like, it's like a, it's like just an experience, and it's really, it's really connected me with the core of skateboarding again. It's pretty amazing. The psilocybin molecule is almost identical to the serotonin molecule that your brain produces. So when you consume these mushrooms, it fits right into your head like a lock and key mechanism and it unlocks your potential. When you use psilocybin to open up your neural pathways like this, it's possible to get out of ruts that you may have worked yourself in, like bad habits or anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder. A lot of these things can be transformed or be even eliminated overnight by just one psilocybin uh, ceremony. When identifying a mushroom, you want to look at the cap color, the stem color. See, it has these little gristles on the end. Let's see if it has gills. Or a lot of people don't know this, but when you think of a mushroom, generally people think of the the actual mushroom shape. But that's actually the uh, reproductive part of the mushroom. It, it grows that at the end of its life cycle and reduce, and then uh, disperses its spores. But the most of, most of the mushroom is underground, and it's this cobweb network of, it's called mycelium, that uh, kind of connects all the mushrooms and uh, manages the mycorrhizal plants, or relationships between plants and mushrooms. It's, it's pretty amazing. But 30% of the ground we're walking on is made, made of it, and that's why it's so squishy, fun fact. All right, Anissa found an elfin saddle mushroom. This is a weird ass mushroom. If you get in here, you can see it's just like a floppy top that kind of like droops over the thing and it has like holes in the stem. But really interesting, I've never found one of these. I'm pretty hyped. Check it out. And look at, I told you, look at all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Damn. Fucking lobster harvest going in. When you get your mushrooms, you wanna you wanna cut the stems and check to see if there's any holes for maggots. This one's got no holes, so this one's gonna be in my tummy a little bit later. Pretty damn excited about this. You never know if you're gonna find any. And we found some for you, Jankum. Mama Earth loves you. You wanna get enough as much uh of the dirt off them before you throw them in the basket. Make it easier for cleaning later. Oh man, dude. 
and height. Yeah, it, just, it smells like mushroom fish. We're stealing their dinner. Got here a little too late, friends. Because there are mushrooms now. If given the opportunity, always leave a hunt with at least one piece of trash. Make this place a little bit more beautiful. The really cool thing about fungus is that it's the connection between death and life. It's the regenerative factor of nature. And without fungus, the world would just be covered in dead trees and animals. And it, it's crucial. It's crucial to the cleanup uh, factor of nature. <sighs> just breathe it in. Going out in nature, walking around, looking for food, looking for plants you could eat, looking for mushrooms you could eat, it creates a deeper connection with you and the food that's actually keeping you alive and that ultimately creates an, an even deeper connection to you and your planet. And I think that that's something that's been lost in society and kind of, I think uh, most humans crave that and it's kind of a, or I think most humans crave that, and it's really beneficial for your day-to-day -day life and your mental health. And at one point, I realized that through maximizing the potential of our mind and our body th with fungus, we are also maximizing our skateboarding experience. And it's really changed the game for me. Uh, it's changed my entire life, to be honest. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mm. Mushrooms, baby.